So, I believe this is going to be the Stan Lee box. Uh, it says SLB on here, but it's not in there, it's not wrapped in like their normal um, box art that I saw last time. And then I lied to you because the box is in a box. Who does that? Who does that? So. Right there, the Stan Lee box. Uh, this is the second box, it's a quarterly box. If you want pricing details down below in the description, I'll have it. Um, okay, no need for the bat knife today. This just opens right up. So, we'll be surprised. I mean, you're, you know you're gonna expect Marvel and Stan Lee stuff. All right, so this is gonna show everything that's in the box. We're gonna put that off to the side. Uh, I have no idea what is gonna be in here or if there was a theme, but it looks like you have a graphic novel first, right there. What is this? The Invincible Iron Man Marvel Masterworks by Stan Lee, Don Heck, and Gene Cullen. Really? Oh, really? Oh, nice. This is number 66 through 83, and this is back in 1965 and 1966. So, I mean, here's some of the artwork. This is obviously, obviously uh, from 1965, 1966. But the, the issue actually starts with number 66. Uh, I'm not sure if he was actually before that or if this is actually the first showing of Iron Man or what. All right, next, what? Um, okay, this is weird. This is pretty weird. All right, you got a, uh, this is like a custom art print. Try to take that in. I don't know who this is. Big green guy dying. It looks like he's got like spectral heroes around him, like ghost-like heroes around him. So I, I think this is an original uh, piece of art from Joe Jusco, one of the artists at Marvel. Uh, that's pretty cool. I want to know more about that though. This is like an original or what? Uh, next we have, right here it says Excelsior. What is gonna be in here? Oh my god, what is this? Uh, what? Okay, okay, hold up. So first, you have a fun fact, Stan Lee fun fact, number 61. The fun fact says, uh, for years our company published magazines under the brand Atlas Comics. It was a fine name, but I wanted something that would energize the fans, so in the early 1960s, we began calling ourselves Marvel Comics. It appeared on a number of titles, but really caught on when we published the first issue of the Fantastic Four, Cover date, November 1961. That's when the Marvel Age of Comics really took off. So that's pretty cool. Marvel, fun fact, and a laminated card. Pretty cool. Uh, next, you have some stickers in it. Excelsior, Stan Lee. Uh, next, you got Inhumans, Once, and Future Kings. Right there. And it looks like an exclusive cover, because I think you have Stan Lee up here. Yeah, number one variant edition. That is pretty awesome. Of Inhumans. And this is the same guy that's on the art print. With a sticker attached. And then you have Stan's Soapbox The Collection. Over 14 years and over 46,000 words of the wit and wisdom of Marvel Comics Stan Lee. So right there. It's like you got just some history of Stan Lee and his work with Marvel. Pretty cool Stan Lee soapbox. Uh, next, I think we got the good stuff now. Well, the figures and such. Uh, first, Wham Blocks. All right, it's like a plush little pillow thing, but it's Stan Lee and it's called Wham Blocks. He, behind him, it looks like he's, he's holding some flowers behind his back right there. That's okay, I don't, I don't know what exactly that's used for. Uh, I saw this before. It it's what I wanted before. Uh, Iron Man. This is a Iron Man light up Q Fig FX. So we're gonna take that out. We're gonna display him. This is awesome. So here, here he is outside, and he has batteries. We're gonna throw those in. All right. And right here, three, two, one. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at that. That is awesome. That is amazing right there. That's with it on. 
That's with it off. That is amazing. So, wow. And, and look at the, I didn't really show it off, but look at the detail on Iron Man. That looks awesome. That's what I like about Q-Fig. Very detailed and they're proportional. Unlike the Funko Pops that are not proportional. That is awesome. And it lights up. FX. That is cool. Alright, so next item looks like we got a shirt. And right there on the front, looks like you just got a skull. And on the back, Stan Lee. Right there. Excelsior. It says New York, LA. That's pretty cool. Excelsior. And he's got, instead of like swords or axes crossed, he's got like a pen and pencil, which is pretty cool. Pretty cool shirt. Pretty cool. Uh, and then next, looks like we got one last art, or no, uh, we got one last comic, and it's Inhumans, and it looks like it's going to be that sketch art look for the front, and it's going to be a variant edition. Variant edition number two, Inhumans, uh, Once in Future Kings, and that's pretty cool because I think the Inhumans is actually, they, they just made a movie, I believe, I don't think it's a show, I think they're coming out with a movie for Inhumans. You do get both of them right here. Two variant covers. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie. I I have no idea about the Inhumans. I have not read about them. I haven't seen them. So uh, if anyone knows any details, are they good? Are they cool? I, I have no idea. Um, kind of curious. Very curious. So that was the box. Uh, I believe this box is like around fifty something dollars a month. But you saw that we got a ton. A ton of stuff, a ton of exclusive stuff, uh, variant edition things, and premium, premium items right here. Um, I don't break down the prices anymore, but I, I'd say that is well worth it. I will rate this box. And I give it the red rupee. I give this a solid eight, eight. 8.5 out of 10. This was a really good box. Uh, a lot of good things, uh, premium items. Everything was really good in this box, except the, the plush, I don't really know too much. It was still cool, but I don't know what exactly I would use that for. Um, probably just goes up on a shelf or something. Uh, you can't really use that for a pillow or anything. Don't think you would, uh, would want to. Um, but that's it. Everything was really cool. Let me know what your favorite thing in the box was. Mine, definitely the light up Iron Man. That is amazing. That is awesome right there. Uh, that's it, guys. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Stay solid. Right.